Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Today we're back at the Walmart in Bend, and I'm joined by my good buddy Ethan Eversold, both of our kids, and we're doing a Walmart challenge. Are you guys ready for this? We've got a deal where Ethan's got 800 bucks cash money, and we're going to go in there and see what we can buy, but there's a catch. We're going to do a race first, and whoever wins the race gets the $500 budget. The other person gets stuck with the $300 budget. Does that sound fair? Sounds good. What's the race? I don't know. Uh, a few moments later. What if we put these kids in a shopping cart? And we okay, so everything we need to go paddling for that much money. You think we can do it? I, I think know. 500 would be easy. 300, I'm gonna stretch. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna outrace you because I want the five. All right, it's on. All right, let's do it. Boys come up with an idea. We're gonna do a shopping cart race. I'm gonna put a kid in the shopping cart. We're gonna race down to the end of the kayaks, switch partners, and the kids are gonna push us back. Whoever has a faster time, that's gonna get the bigger budget. So it's a $500 budget, a $300 budget, and that has to include your boat, your paddle, your PFD, because we want you to be safe out there, and your straps, because we gotta get it to the water. Sound good? Let's go. Let's do this. Okay, go, 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 switch. Six seconds. Woo! Okay, on your marks. Get set. Go. Go 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 stoked i didn't know how i was gonna make it work with 300 bucks so that'll be ethan's problem i'm balling on a budget baby <laughs> pay it up yes yeah, sir <laughs> all right, let's go Jackson, when i'm thinking these boats have been out here because i live here these have been out here since before memorial day some of them are hammered we're on a 300 dollars budget i don't know if we can do this but we can maybe try to negotiate if we can find one that's beat up you're already working your angle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you think I they'll mean, do a deal? These things have been pounded by the sun. Look at this. Covered in stuff. Some of these, I'm, I'm like kind of looking for one that might have like some of the foam removed. Might be a possibility. This one's got a little sun fading on it. But why am I helping you? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> so we're going to have a time limit for the shopping session. 30 minutes from now. That's everything you need out the door, checked out, 30 minutes. Let's see if we can do it. That's it. There's three paddles. Well, that's good looking. Fiberglass shaft. It's got a nice push button. A little bit of wobble, but I mean, 37 bucks. I'm, I'm going with it. All right. I think it's 10 bucks. I'm just going to go ahead and do this. I mean, this is 10 bucks too. Let's do this. This seems pretty solid. I trust it. So. Don't want to fly off on the way home. The kids' jackets, and then we've got some other ones down here, but they're going to be more expensive. What do you think? I think these are going to be the best options. That won't float me. It won't be legal. <laughs> this will actually be legal. All right. We're going with this jacket. Okay, so we got our paddle. We got a way to get it home. Now we need some sort of PFD. But I don't want to get one of those neoprene ones. I hate neoprene PFD. Okay. We got to find a better solution than this. This is terrible. It fits though, so we're going to keep it for now. Because Walmart's a little picked over in the paddling stuff. Oh, way better. It's not great, but it's way better than that last one. Things are going to choke me out and chafe me out. But whatever all right what'd you find over here by the boat right stuff right here 50 foot ozark trail line. all right we'll make that work what is it 526? 526 all right that works i bet i bet this is under 20 bucks so we're probably around we got 280 to spend on a Kay. boat and a paddle ready yep okay got my jacket got my vest got my rope now i gotta pick a boat i gotta find another budget so i'm gonna try to find the best thing i can find in here for 500 bucks so okay, again, jacket seven dollars and ninety six cents. So 
Okay, dude, the pacer. Eight foot boat from Ike Time. This could be the one. We'll find out. It's got to paddle with it. Eight foot boats generally don't paddle, but Lifetime, they make these out of Utah. They make good stuff. Capacity is 200 pounds. I weigh 165. It's going to work. This is going to be the one. So I just talked to an associate and he said this was the most expensive one I had. It's only 330 bucks. So I think I'm gonna try it. It's a Sabre 100. It's very similar to some of the other Pelicans I've tested in the past. I mean, I feel like I'm still under 500 bucks. So 330 plus, what was this, 40? So I'll put this at around 400 bucks. That gives us a little room for like a Slurpee or something. So we've got like an extra 100 bucks to spend. We're in Oregon, there's no sales tax. So uh, let's see if we can find some other cool stuff to go paddle on with. Hey, how much time do we have left? Um, looks like 16 minutes. Oh, look at, look at the phone. Pretty much got everything put down. We're just, no, wait, that's a Okay, so we need like a pool noodle so we can pad our raft. What else? Maybe an anchor? I don't know. Anchor would be cool. Let's keep looking. Maybe a sponge. Oh, dude, check this out. I wonder, the old Lifetime Tamaracks, these things fit in there. What if I could put a framed seat in it? That would be baller. Let's go see if it fits. Feels right. Look at that. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's dude. a little tighter than I do. That's crazy. Okay, 10 minutes left. I can't find any pool noodles. I'm gonna grab my pool. Okay. And we're good. Let's, let's get it going. I feel like we got a pretty good shopping cart. Okay. And the anchor department. That'll be perfect. Tie a knot, chuck that thing overboard. Okay, we're good to go. Paddling gloves. Who knew? I thought it'd be perfect. 10 bucks. Okay, I hope we're not over budget. All right, then it's left. We're running out of time. We gotta go all the way to the front. Literally, legit slang. What's that? We only have six minutes on the clock, man. Six minutes? Oh my god. We'll be fine. We'll get out of here. I don't even see the other boys, so. All right, we, we got going the with the standard. Rock? Yep, 28 bucks right okay, there. Then and then what kind of bait should we get? What are we, there's trout? Okay. Um, I think we should go one of these. Yeah, trout. Those aren't. Mm, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, one of these. Rapala? One of those? A little Rapala. Okay, and that's probably, and then I think we need a rooster tail over here. Okay. Oh wait, I got an idea. Spoon, yeah, spoons, roost. spoons. Okay. Golden spoon. All right, and a rooster tail? Sure. All right, let's go. Okay, good. We got a couple minutes to go. Go run. Right. Here we go. We're scanning everything. There's not much time left. 266. Three minutes to go. We've got the slowest people, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to switch lines. Two, fishing, paddling, all under 300 bucks. 266. Yeah, yeah. you got Let's money go. for ice cream. There you go, 436 dollars. I got money to spare, dude. I'm getting a slim jam. Some gummies. Some gummy bears. Keep it coming, man. What else? What do you want? Bodies. Right. Got some Carl gummies. <laughs> We're rocking it. Four forty two. We got money to spare. Here, you know what? Let's grab one of these guys. <laughs> these are these are a need. Ran out of time before I ran out of money. I was just like grabbing stuff, trying to get to my five hundred dollar budget. They said I got the nicest one they sold. I'm pretty happy with it, uh, especially with my seat upgrade. I hope that works. We'll see. We're gonna go. We're gonna wait for Ethan and then we're gonna go hit the water. We're gonna go give these things a little paddle. We're already done? We beat you by like 10 minutes. Ah, uh, well, we got in just under the wire. That's all that matters. Where'd you get in? Where did you get away? It's my anchor. Here they come. Oh, oh. Over here. look at you guys. <laughs> uh, would they get candy too? We had extra money, man. They beat you. Slim chip. <laughs> candy. Still, well, we had leftover money. I was still under candy. forty bucks. We got a, yes, sir. a fan and a fan. <laughs> yes, sir, bro. Oh. <laughs> still couldn't get to five hundred. Thing that happened is once we started shopping, we did talk to a manager. We went out and showed him the beat up boats, and the manager said the most he could go on a Tahoma, which is what I wanted because it was two forty four, two sixty eight. He'd go only ten percent down, which left us at two forty. We could have probably pulled it off, but Paxson had in his mind that any leftover money that we had, we could spend on fishing gear, which is really where Paxson's heart has been lately. So we did <laughs> end up going with the cheaper route. This boat was 190 bucks. It's an eight foot pacer from Lifetime. I do not think I might even fit in it, but we were able to get a bunch of, ta uh, you know, we got some fishing stuff here. 
Uh, telescoping rod. He only gets this. This is all I fish for. That's all I fish. Um, this is I'm not really proud of. This was seven dollars, <laughs> and it's the classic horseshoe collar, but like, it's just you know it'll work. But really, in the event of a swim, I'm not so sure Paxton was able to fit in it. We'll have to adjust it. We knew we needed something to tie it on. We got the cheapest rope they could, but we did have enough money to buy a dry bag because I think I'm going to swim in this thing. <laughs> and I wanted my stuff to stay dry. All right, man. You rocked it. And you guys were under budget, right? Yeah, 266 We got $44 left over. Not bad. Yeah, we were about, we were two, or, uh, I'm sorry, 456 So, you know, about the same. You want to run through? Yes. That's so much more. What were you? Five hundred dollars, and you got all this. Show me. I, I asked the guy. That no prices. Oh, it's craziness. So I was like, "What's the most expensive kayak you got in here?" And this is what he recommended. Did you know that Pelican makes blow molded kayaks now? I did not know. This is twin sheet form. But there was a blow molded one next to it. Very but interesting. But it was cheaper. Okay. So I was like, "Ah, I'll go ahead and go with the most expensive because it was only like three hundred and thirty-nine bucks." So I thought about it. I knew I'd have extra, extra line. Yeah. So I went ahead and bought myself an anchor. Nice, five pounds. Can also go. stay fit when I'm off the water, you know, winter time. And while I was in that section, I got myself some nice paddling gloves. I got a tamarack where I would put the frame chair. It does raise me up, so we'll see how that's gonna work. <laughs> oh, that looks <laughs> oh, nice. Dude, yes. I splurged, went for the nicer paddle. I see you got the one that came with it. Yep. Yeah, that's yeah, it. yeah. I figured for 30 bucks, man, I'm going fiberglass, man. This paddle, fiberglass, Ozark Trail, not bad. Not bad, all right, let's keep going. So I got myself a little, uh, this is a, an electric fan. Okay. In case it heats up a little bit all out right. there. All right. I didn't think about dry bag, right? That's a smart one. I got myself this life jacket. It was the nicest one they had, but. The bad. old triple buckle. Anyway, I guess that's it. Oh, no. Uh, you actually have food. <laughs> a few bucks extra, man. This is dinner. Couldn't find any pool noodles. So, uh, I want to see how you tie this thing off. Yeah, I mean, we saw, you know, it's going to kind of go with the, the whitewater boater approach, right? Which is one line. I didn't have a knife with me. No, no knife. I didn't have a knife. I didn't have the budget for a knife. <laughs> oh, I didn't either, but I just happened to have one in my pocket. Yeah, I don't happen to have one. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Here. Assist. Oh, we're gonna catch fish. We're gonna. Ooh. We're not going hungry. Go. We're not going hungry either. It's a little top heavy with the seat, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little, but it's comfy. Yeah, right at me. <laughs> Paxton, how much do you weigh, just for reference? 80. 80 pounds. Oh, that's a way better boat for you. That life jacket looks cozy. That one was made for Paxton. How about that seat, though? That was such a good hack. How'd it work? Good. Anchor works great. I'm going to need to pull it. 
Well, that's it. You guys, we're off the water now. I think we, um, do we have a consensus? Who got the better value, the $300 or the $500 budget? 500 went a long way. We were like really making sacrifices at 300. So probably you at 500. Yeah, I mean, especially for my size, but Paxton, he rocked that boat. That was awesome for you. What's your plan? Are you gonna keep that thing? I think we're gonna keep it. What's your plan, do you think? I mean, you got some room to mount stuff on here. You got this spot right here. You got room for a couple flush mounts in the back. Definitely want to see what you definitely want to see what you do with this thing. Well, that was fun, Ethan. Hey, thanks for the cash. <laughs> that was a lot of fun. If you guys like that sort of thing, like this video, leave us a comment. If you want to see more of the kids in the videos, hit us up. We had a lot of fun making it. Hopefully, you guys had a lot of fun watching it. Till next time, happy paddling. That's a wrap.